Yo, so look, you guys, we're about to watch Doug and XL talk about the Fulton County Board. Fulton County are some nasty, nasty, nasty people. And uh, I heard a little bit of the first three seconds of the video. But look, like, comment, subscribe if you're new. Let me know what to react to, y'all. Getting right to it. Who we got? Fulton County is a national embarrassment because of Bonnie Willis and Nathan Wade. By the way, that kind of corruption went on for years. It went on too long, largely unnoticed, or should I say covered up. But who did know about it? Who could have done something about it if only someone warned the Fulton County Board of Commissioners? Someone did warn them. We've uh, done a piece on Fonnie Willis whistleblower Amanda Timpson. Ms. Timpson came out with testimony and was largely ignored by the Fulton County Board of Commissioners on Doug to Naples. This is where the happy patriots are. Welcome to Doug in exile. We're sitting here in exile because we're furious that nothing's being done. This kind of. And I think the girl that exposed them all, she needs to be moved up and everybody that's corrupt needs to be moved down. Corruption about Fonnie Willis goes on in Fulton County for too long. Why? Because this board of commissioners does not want to do their job. And we're going to call them out and name them. Today, let's watch Ms. Timpson go to the Board of Commissioners. This was this Wednesday at their last public meeting. Uh, my name is Amanda Timpson. I'm formerly the Director of Juvenile Diversion for the Fulton County District Attorney's Office. Now let's meet the Chairman of the Board, the King of Fulton County, Fonnie Willis Corruption, Rob Pitts. Greetings. I'm Fulton County Commission Chairman Rob Pitts. And you should resign in shame. Your brand is filth. Your brand is crime. Welcome to our website. As we start our second year in office, I want to update you on our progress. And Doug know what he's doing putting these videos in and here. And your brand is you aren't tough enough to do anything about people like Bonnie Willis. And the prior mismanagement of this office by the former administration. You cover them up or you do nothing. I'm not saying that you're a criminal i'm saying you're ineffective you're not man enough to stand up to crime by the way i believe this about nearly all american leadership nearly all american executives and politics politicians are not man enough or woman enough to stand up uh, against things that make them look kind of bad you you were afraid you'd look bad if you took a shot at Fonnie willis if you went up and confronted her a obvious criminal on april 4th 2022 just 90 days after i was fired for blowing the whistle on fonnie willis and her administration and walked out of this very building by seven armed investigators my attorney sent each commissioner a draft complaint with 18 exhibits totaling in over 200 pages yes that's amanda timpson she went and told this very board whom she's addressing right now about fonnie willis and she got walked out of the building by seven armed guards okay they did nothing she just by speaking they walked her out I'm telling you every day i think for the next two weeks every day is going to come out about uh, about something that has something to do with Fonnie willis it's, eventually i wouldn't be surprised if she ran over a dog and didn't stop i wouldn't be surprised warn them if only we could have known think of the millions of dollars that could have been kept from being wasted in Fulton County, Georgia, with Fonnie Willis using state funds. Remember when she first started getting security when they were putting together their indictment? She, she had like these roadblocks out on the road, keeping uh, uh, managing traffic because of these insurrectionists that were going to come and get him. She wasted all this money. And this is Fulton County. This is a board of commissioners. They're doing nothing. Nothing to see here. We know nothing. Now, Miss Amanda Timpson comes in and warned all of them by name with tons of documents over three times. This particular one um, that she launched came from April of uh, 2022, but this is the board, Rob Pitts, Bridget Thorne, Bob Ellis, uh, Dana Barrett, Natalie Hall, Marvin Arrington Jr., Khadija Abur uh, Rahman. Here's their names on the ARG. April 4th, 2022 document Miss Timpson sent them about Fonnie Willis misusing their funds. So uh, they could have exposed her then. These people did nothing. 
And that's the problem. I'm not saying they're corrupt. I'm saying they're incompetent. I'm saying they're ineffective. And I'm saying they're worthless as leadership. They're corrupt. And this is what was sent to them in 2022 by Ms. Timpson. Ms. Timpson was eventually demoted to the status of file clerk due to retaliation, as explained in the enclosed draft complaint. The district attorney's office, the DA's office, discriminated against Ms. Timpson in a multitude of ways to include violating her rights under the American Disabilities Act and retaliating against her in violation of the Georgia Whistleblower Act and the ADA. Now, I'm only saying this board was warned they were they could have investigated this whole thing and this could have been stopped. They might have been the only people who could have stopped this, but that would require wisdom, bravery, values, marching overs, a care for discipline, a care for the law, a care for the rules of conduct. Ms. Timpson even brought up how that uh, Fonnie Willis went against their own rules on whistleblowers. She's going to continue to expose them, and it's up to everybody else to do something about it. That's what I'm learning. And then it's getting sad how much the corruption is going on and no one's doing anything about it. I just feel like, man, I'm, I'm, I might start a petition. Attached was Exhibit 12 which is the audio recording that has now been heard by so many. Comments that went out on YouTube for the Fulton County Board of Commissioners. This went out on Wednesday. I want to show you this. Look at it. This has 975 views. You guys are going to give her more views on this channel than the entire state board of Fulton County right now on YouTube. Take this link, send it out everywhere. Let's get more than 978 eyes on this board of commissioners who knew Fannie Willis was Fonnie Wells, anyone with common sense would have known that she was corrupt, but they did nothing. All it takes for evil to prosper, prosper is for a few good men to do nothing. They did nothing. These funds you are hiring out of state people. You're buying computer equipment. Then this grant specifically says you cannot buy computer. The way she spoke up and then they made her into a foul clerk because she spoke up about the corruption, didn't even do anything. But Doug is saying that they may they may just be incompetent. They may not be corrupt. I think they're corrupt. Your equipment, all that. Prior to my termination, I made 42 separate point of contacts with nearly every branch of Fulton County government seeking refuge from the relentless retaliation that I endured. On January 14th, 2022, I was fired just 20 minutes after making my third formal DCRC complaint against Ms. Willis and her goons. Due to time restrictions, I'm unable to detail each of these actions. But again, you all have had two years to familiarize yourself with these details. I did everything that Fulton County government prescribes a whistleblower do to be protected, yet Ms. Willis and her administration were allowed to retaliate against me with absolute, absolute impunity. Will anyone in Fulton County do a follow-up with Ms. Timpson? Will anyone in big media interview her? Or are they all just Democrats covering up for Fonnie Willis? Because I'm indicting your entire state. You're corrupt. You have no curiosity about any of this stuff. Here's another member, uh, hilarious member of this Board of Commissioners. Greetings. My name is Bob Ellis, and I'm proud to serve the people of Fulton County District 2 as their commissioner. Well, Bob Ellis, you're doing a hell of a job. Here's what it says on his boilerplate on the website. He's elected to office in November of 2014. Bob began his term the following January. He serves as executive sponsor for Fulton County's strategic priority. Quote, this is, the, this is what he does. This is his brand. You ready? Quote, all people trust government is efficient, effective, and fiscally sound. Uh, I'll let you guys tell me in the comments below. How do you think Commissioner Bob Ellis is doing at that boilerplate? How's Fulton, how's he doing this one job? How's he doing now that it's national news about Fonnie Willis, that this guy's job, quote, his brand is all people trust government is efficient, effective, and fiscally sound. I don't trust him. I'm just going to leave that there. <laughs> Fonnie Willis, just the brand, her name, it just oozes efficient, effective, and fiscally sound, sir. Ms. Willis continues to intimidate me, regularly lurking on my online profiles. As recently as February 20th, 2024, when she, embroiled in scandal and corruption, had the time to stalk my LinkedIn page four separate times in a 24-hour span. 
that's in the last year Fonnie Willis is still hunting Miss Timpson, making sure all the facts are straight. You know, Fonnie Willis knows she has all these judges to cover for her. Uh, Mr. McAfee's uh, running for his judge seat again. And you know, there's criminal judges that the Soros people are setting up against him going, how will you come out on this verdict, buddy? Do you want a job? Maybe even it'd be a shame, you know, if something happened to your family is how they do it in Fulton County, Georgia, because of this commission of worthless. This is Dukes of Hat. Remember Boss Hog? You, you get over the county line. We just got to cover all this up. This is uh, in the heat of the night with Sidney Poitier. About midnight. It's now uh, if you're Democrat. It's not based on if you're black. Now it's based on if you're Democrat and corrupt and Soros and against Trump enough uh, is how you get all the favors from Boss Hog. <laughs> Isn't that right, Cletus? In closing, my case is currently in active litigation as we speak, every document that I have read regarding the junior DA program specifically states participants must be Fulton County residents exclusively. They are stating under oath in depositions that they, they can serve youth from out of this county and state, displacing Fulton County residents from their seconds. own resources despite documentation. Did you hear that? I know it's rules and everything like that, but they just shooting her down. Stating under oath in depositions that they they can serve youth from out of this county and state, displacing Fulton County residents from their seconds. own resources, despite documentation proving otherwise. I love that. She's listing a bunch of facts. 15 seconds, Miss Timpson. 15 seconds. Oh, yeah. What if she was to stop, lose her place or whatever she was reading? Literally stop, lose her place. And he, she goes, all right, uh, thanks. Let me continue. Uh, five seconds. Uh, the board of commissioners, you guys really care about law and rules. They never break the rules. She comes in, she starts throwing down facts. They're like, hey, 15 seconds. You know, we have a rule of law in Fulton County. You know, unlike you coming in here, Miss Timpson, you, you know, she, they're accusing her like representing chaos. You're going to go over the time. But one thing we do, we do everything by the books here in Fulton. County, Georgia, with Bonnie Willis. We do it by the books. Yeah, by the books. Yeah, call out the law on her spending too much time on these texts and then turn a complete blind eye. But when she came to you and said, Bonnie Willis is misusing my grant you in this fact, this fact, this fact, then there's no more 15 seconds. You all, <clears throat> and you all are allowing them to do this. Shame on you. You all knew about this for two years and were silent and willfully failed the youth of this county. Thank you. Give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment. I don't like that at all. I don't like how she was speaking. And they said if that really that really hit me that like she was speaking and I was gonna say fifteen seconds. Something about that is not right. But uh hey, I'm gonna keep posting videos. Whether you guys like, comment, subscribe or not, I'm gonna keep posting. I'm learning about this stuff. I know you guys already know a lot, but I'm learning about it. And uh, just join me on the way while I'm learning. But like, comment, subscribe, you know. Let me know if you have to. We out.